and welcome to the first Let's Compile video. These are videos about computer programming which are also gaming videos. So what I'll be doing is I'll be talking about source codes such as uh, you know Jewel Hunter and Jigsaw and these things that are at my website. My website is http rudyh.info the compiler we're using for this video is QB64 so you might want that if you want to reproduce the situation that I'm in. This is jungle RAL. Um, now this is a, a, a sort of a puzzly adventure game written in the 1996 by Zach Johnson and I think he went on to make other DOS games um, during the late 90s back when DOS was still a thing these days you know you hear about DOS and it's to do with uh, emulation or uh, or a free operating system such as uh, free DOS but um, there was a source packet called ABC and that's part of my packet that I've got on my website these days and uh, he, he makes some sort of uh, statements here in in these comments but uh, he's declaring uh, f functions it looks like and um, this clears the screen. What that does is it gets rid of everything that's on the 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 view for the you know the QB64 or an emulator such as uh, DOSBox, and it you can put whatever you want into it. And I think in this situation he uh, it's graphics mode, so that actually gets rid of. Uh, gr sort of uh, EGA, I think it's EGA graphics and um, he's he's gone through and he's, he's gone to the trouble of commenting on it which which I've given you know thumbs up for because sometimes programmers can't be bothered doing that which I think is slack but there's some data and uh, let's see what else here um, some loops, some for loops, um, and uh, the whole code itself. Let's have a look here. Let me go up here for a second. I just went past something interesting. Yeah, this is just uh, ASCII graphics. So ASCII was a, a a terminology given to something that. Microsoft and the MSX team came up with back in the day and it wound up being the standard for uh, for uh, character display for the IBM style clones and um, and originals but there's a looks like a title screen there and some other code here yeah, I mean to go through this you'd have to take a, f a fair bit of time and it's probably understandable if if you uh, go to the effort here, but these things like color, for example, that's uh, it's it's one to sixteen because there's sixteen colors in text mode for DOS, and um, fourteen is probably like uh, bright yellow or something. Sorry if I'm being a bit ambiguous. It's because I'm only glancing at this source code here. You know, but it's the, the whole point of this series is to is to have a look at that a bit, and then maybe go ahead and play the game. Because if you go to my website, it's confusing. You, you probably don't know how to run half the programs. It's a little bit hard, and um, you basically just want to have some fun. So let's go ahead and uh, start the start the program. These EXEs, they get put in the file wherever you stored by default the um, the compiler QB64. 
So, Jungle Rao. Um, the reason I like this game is because it's got a fantasy theme, and it sort of it reminds me of um, it reminds me of a couple of other DOS games. But we'll have a look at the instructions here for a sec. Uh, I am Jungle Rao, fearless. Arrow keys. Um, uh, full stop, or what the Americans call period for using a move without going anywhere. Uh, M to shoot arrows. S. Uh, oh no, M for machete. S for shoot. So that's and it's got, it's got a bit of a little. You know, it's good the way they include something like with if you ever buy like a a C Sega cartridge or a Nintendo cartridge. This is the sort of thing that's in the manual, so it's good that you got it there. Now, I'm going to start using the arrow keys, presumably. The green things don't seem to be following me, those green upside-down things. I'm just going to pick up the money, because I might as well. So it's M for machete. Yep, okay, the machete can be used to cut down plants. I'm just going to avoid these, uh, I think the, the goal of the screen here is to kill these. Yeah, I just killed one, okay. To kill the, the bright green um, ASCII characters. Alright, so there's a bit of strategy involved, because I imagine one of these bright green things could kill me if it really wanted to. Okay, what do I do now? Oh, there's one left. Here it is. Alright, so it's good. It's like a one screen... RPG sort of, you know, because in the 90s, uh, fantasy things were still, when I say fantasy, I mean like your typical Tolkien style Dungeons and Dragons, that sort of thing. It was still popular. Okay, this is tricky. We've got different enemies here, so I'm going to go straight for that thing that looks like a gun. Okay, I've got the gun. I might as well kill these while I'm still... Oh, no, I died. Yep, yeah, there we go. Um, well, this, this from memory is pretty easy. I'll just quickly do this. Yeah, it's sort of a bit uh, crazy the way that happens there, but um, well, there's a bit of randomization in the game here, because this this is not how I remember it. Uh, I remember it as being slightly different to this. So I suppose if the if the if the enemy has a move, like if it, I can jump away from it there and then jump in and make a move. That way I win. So yeah, I think that's how it works. So. You know, it's good that it's it's good that it's not just too easy. Because if it was too easy, then you'd be in trouble. Then uh, as a game, it would be boring. All right, I've got a gun. So S to shoot. There we go. I'm shooting.
shoot those orcs. See, I have played this before. So, uh, it looks like I've run out of ammo. Which is a pity because there's one orc left there. If I can just get him around here, I, I imagine that I'll be able to get past him. Now I've got a gun. Okay, well that's going to make life a lot easier. <laughs> so I can just shoot him. Alright. Ral Emergency. I, li I like the way this, this person who... who I, I, I dropped his name earlier. I mean... I think I did at least anyway, but I like the way he's actually trying to establish a story here. Like, there's a story in between sc screens where, you know, Rail emerges into a cannibal village. Crude hits surrounding a weathered stone altar. This to me looks too hard. Why are they make why is the guy making me do this so early in the game? I'm gonna die for sure. If I can just attract them around here and sneak Oh well. But anyway I'll have one more go. Oh no, they're starting off at the beginning. For that reason, I think I better leave it. So that was uh, Jungle Rail for MS DOS. Or if you this, see the, th the good thing about this, um, this is actually a Windows program, QB64. This is not running on emulation. So if you wanted to produce a Windows ex executable, and I think I just did. It would be um, in the where you've got the the thing, the uh, the compiler, uh, QB64, wherever it's stored on your computer. And Jungle Rail worked out to be a bit over a meg, so there you go. Um, and it can be run comp. Uh, straight from 64-bit windows in a little window. So, okay. Um, so that's what these sort of videos are going to be a bit like. Um, I'll be trying out bits of source code that you can get from my website. And um, thanks for watching and have a nice day.